Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday Reads. What is Friday Reads? It's books that you think you're going to start reading on Friday, but you probably won't read them until Saturday or Sunday. Let's just be honest. And then hopefully you'll read all the books that you picked up, and sometimes you don't read any of them. And sometimes you don't read any of them and you read something completely different. And then you feel like a fool because you told everyone what you were going to read on Friday, but you didn't. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> wow, choking. So, um, using that um, theory here, um, I'm going to go over the stuff I'm going to be reading this weekend. <clears throat> the first thing will be the racing form because uh yeah and just so you guys know in case you were wondering i got my ass handed to me in the first five races today so let's just let's just put that out there um <clears throat> let's see okay so in all honesty though here we go um, I'm just going to be preparing the um, next few videos I'm going to be doing. So um, with the Lovecraft uh, Cthulhu Mythos stuff, I'm going to be doing the thing on the doorstep, um, which is kind of a fun story. Um, it's weird because I have a fondness for the thing on the doorstep. And I feel like... Um, a lot of Lovecraft scholars and even people who like Lovecraft um, aren't really a fan of this story. So this might be um, one of those like nostalgic reads for me. Um, and that's why I think of it so fondly. But I think I'm going to try to be super critical of it this time. And... Um, kind of see if I could see why a lot of people aren't thrilled with it. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing I'm going to be reading is the um, Robert E. Howard Conan story, The People of the Black Circle. Now this story um, is not one of my favorites, but everyone loves it. And it's considered like super classic Conan. And in fact, if you play... Um, the Conan video game um, by uh, Funcom I really feel like there's a lot of lore from this story um, put into the game and I mean there's lore from a lot of stuff but I always felt like there was a lot of shit left on the table so um, you know whatever so we'll see how that goes Maybe I could um, kind of fall in love with this one again a little bit. And then as far as the Bukowski chapbook series I'm doing on here, um, the next one is a signature of Charles Bukowski that was included in the um, little magazine Targets. Um, and I believe that was 1960 as well, is the last one. Um, don't quote me on that. So those are the things that like, I'm like, oh, okay, these are things that I need to do for the channel. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But then um, I was kind of dicking around and um, because I'm unpacking all these boxes and stuff of books, I'm coming across stuff that I haven't seen in a little bit. So um, I was unpacking and I found um, all my Raymond Chandler stuff. And if you look over my shoulder there, there's a Raymond Chandler one right there. That's That one's been up there for a bit now. Um, but I found a bunch of my other ones. And I was kind of going through that. And um, oddly enough, um, I was just kind of reading it. Like, I didn't plan on reading it. I just picked it up and I was kind of flipping through. And I just kind of started going. Um, so... Um, and that is The Big Sleep. So we'll see if I do that one. And then I picked up a Carter Brown book um, called Hellcat, 
which um, I'm sure I did a video on at some point. Um, but I just picked it up going, oh, is this the one where... And so I opened it up and started reading the first page. And the opening of that book is so flippin' good. Um, they're, like, talking about the look on this guy's face. And um, Al Wheeler doesn't like it. And all this other stuff. And um, he's all kind of annoyed by him and all this shit. And so they tell the mortician to put it back up on the shelf. And it's a dude's head in a jar of formaldehyde. And it, it's so funny. Like, that just cracked me up. So, um, I was toying around with that again. Um, but I don't want to just uh, rehash. I actually have to go back and look and see uh, what books I did videos on. Because I, I've read that before. I don't know if I did a video on it. So, if I haven't done a video on it, I'll do a video on it. Um, and then with Raymond Chandler... Um, I'm pretty sure I did the big sleep before, so um, might just skip that one. So um, that's pretty much what I think I'm reading this weekend. What are you reading this weekend? Um, leave it in the comments below, and especially if it's something you think I would like, please leave it so I could hear all about it. Um, there's also, um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, for those of you wondering, um, I'm on chapter 14, I think, yes, 14 of the new um, Hank Bradshaw book that I'm writing, and I think it's going to be called Dead Dame Curse, um, which I probably already said on here. And if you are on my Patreon, um, the first chapter is up um, there for patrons to read if you're interested. Um, and for those of you who have picked up the books before and um, read them or didn't read them or whatever, um, I actually went through and cleaned up um, the first three books and um, updated the links and stuff in them and all that shit and put them back up on Amazon. Um, and I actually started um, working on the paperbacks and then um, life caught up with me and I just didn't get that finished. <clears throat> but on Amazon, um, apparently now you have the ability to pick your trim size, uh, like how big you want the book. So, um, there is a five by eight option, but there's also an option to like put in whatever you want. So I might be going in and doing the 4.75 by six inches, which is like your old school, typical mass market paperback. Um, that would be just amazing. So, um, I don't really know how that would work, but, um, I'm pretty excited to do that, so maybe I'll do that. Um, anything else? Oh, also, um, I'm going to be recording a cover version of a cramp song here um, in the next half hour or so, and we'll be posting that up on my Patreon as well. So if you like hearing me sing other people's songs, jump on over to Patreon, and you can do that by... I think it's just patreon.com slash Matt Wall, or you can go to IHateMattWall.com um, and do that there. And um, I actually have some pretty... It's exciting to me. It might be exciting to some of you. Um, I'll just talk about it since we're here shooting the shit. Um, I think I'm going to be um, putting Weird Mask and... Um, the time machine, um, zines that I used to like print out and make and all that stuff. Um, I think I'm just going to be putting those up for free for now on as PDFs. So, um, and like maybe do a little bit of, uh, 
uh, AdSense on the websites themselves. So when you go to the websites now, there'll be ads and shit like that that pop up. But um, you could at least get the um, issues for free. And also for those of you who are submitting your work to them, um, it'll probably reach a larger audience um, considering anyone can just download it. So um, that that's an iron in the fire right now. Uh, I have a few things I got to crack on with before I get to that. But um, yeah, and then um, I'm going to be working on serials for um, Kindle Vela and see how that goes. So that's what my weekend looks like. What's your weekend look like? Tell me all about it um, in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys later. That was nerdy. See you later. Bye-bye.